us use what we know about interior and exterior angles to find our missing values. Here we have a triangle with one missing interior angle. We can start by finding the interior angle sum of a triangle. To do that, we're going to use our equation, number of sides minus 2 times 180. Well, a triangle has three edges, so we're going to start by doing 3 minus 2. 3 minus 2 is 1, multiply that by 180, and our triangle has an interior angle sum of 180 degrees. Well, now we can use what we know, the 180 degrees, to find what's missing. One angle is worth 43 degrees. The box up here tells me this angle is worth 90. So we can add up 43 plus 90 to find out how many degrees we've already used. 43 plus 90 gives me 133 degrees, and we should have 180 total. So to find our missing angle, we can do 180 minus the 133 degrees we've used to come out with 47 degrees left. So that tells us our missing interior angle is worth 47 degrees. We can use the same process over here on our parallelogram. Our parallelogram is a type of quadrilateral, so to find its interior angle sum, we can still do n minus 2 times 180. We have four edges to work with, so 4 minus 2 times 180. 4 minus 2 is 2, so when we multiply 2 times 180, that tells us we have an interior angle sum of 360 degrees. On this figure, we know two angles and we're looking for the two others, but we're still going to start with what we know. So we know we have 120 plus 120, so that means so far 240 degrees is already used. We need 360 degrees total minus the 240 degrees we've already used, so that means there's 120 degrees left. But we have two missing angles this time. Since we're working with a parallelogram, we know that opposite angles are congruent. That means these two have the same value and these two have the same value. So that 120 degrees that we have left, we can take that 120 degrees and divide it equally amongst the two angles. 120 degrees divided by 2 is 60 degrees. So that means each angle on our parallelogram is going to be worth 60 degrees. Here we're going to work on finding exterior angles. We know that the interior angle and the exterior angle are supplementary. That means together they form a straight line and they add up to 180 degrees. So to find our missing exterior angle, I can take 180 minus the 40 degree interior angle I know and come out with 140 degrees. So our missing exterior angle is worth 140 degrees. Over here on this parallelogram, we need to find the exterior angle sum. There's a couple ways we can go about doing this. The first way is to find all the exterior angles and find their sum. Well, we already know from our triangle that if the interior angle is 40, the exterior angle is 140. So we can go ahead and fill those in. For the others, 180 degrees minus the interior angle of 140 is going to leave me 40 degrees for the exterior angle. So these two exterior angles are 40. So to find our exterior angle sum, we can add 40 plus 140 plus 40 plus 140. And when we do that, that adds up to 360 degrees. Now there's a shorter way we could have gone about doing that. We've talked about how when we combine all of our exterior angles and rotate through all of them, we come all the way around the figure to form a complete circle. We know a circle is worth 360 degrees. So no matter what polygon we're working with, the exterior angle sum is always going to be 360. So instead of finding them all and adding them up, we simply could have gone with that fact. Now let's combine what we know to find both a missing interior and an exterior angle. To start with, we're going to find our missing interior angle. We know that triangles have an interior angle sum of 180, so we're going to use that to find our missing angle measure. This one is 60, we know this one in the corner is going to be worth 90, so we can start by adding up the ones we know. When we add together 60 plus 90, that gives us a total of 150. We can then subtract that 150 from our 180 degree interior angle sum to find out what's left. When we do, that gives us 30 degrees to tell us x is going to be worth 30 degrees. Now we can find our missing exterior angle y. Our exterior angle is always supplementary to our interior angle, meaning together they form a straight line and add up to 180. We already know that the interior angle is 30, so to find the exterior angle we can do 180 minus 30. When we do that, that gives us 150, so y is going to be worth 150 degrees. Check out the other videos in our playlist and don't forget to click on subscribe. Thanks for watching.